One of the biggest cities in all the world on fire tonight as a deadly historic heat wave grips parts of Europe. Hundreds of firefighters battling wildfires around London as the United Kingdom reports its hottest day ever on record. One meteorologist says the UK today was hotter than nearly 99% of the earth. This was the scene today in Wennington, a small town about 18 miles east from central London. The wildfire there engulfing home after home, roofs seen caving in, dark, thick smoke choking the air. All residents in the town told to get out. Two of them spoke to our sister network, Sky News. The wind's not helped, fan flames. It's uh, gone right across the village, taking out the uh, everyone on the green, uh, it's taking out the church and slowly moving its way along the, uh, the main roads. I don't even know what to say because I've never seen... I used to see this kind of fires on TV. I never thought in my, in my wildest dream that it would happen to us. I've been so scared. The London mayor declaring the UK equivalent of a state of emergency, urging people to stop having barbecues to avoid spreading more fires. In an interview today, he said climate change could make these extreme weather conditions more frequent. This consequence of climate change, this excessive heat approaching 40 degrees and exceeding it, uh, these sort of fires we're seeing uh, today uh, could become the norm rather than the exception. The United Kingdom set records several times today. Britain's National Weather Service, the Met Office, reported temperatures hit more than 102 degrees Fahrenheit in the small town of Surrey near London. That set the record until just la hours later. Temperatures hit more than 104 Fahrenheit at Heathrow Airport. That reading still waiting for official confirmation. Keep in mind, the average high temperature in London in July is 75 Fahrenheit. It's so hot, busy cities are becoming ghost towns as officials warn people stay in shaded areas or inside. Here's Sky's Katerina Vitasoi. And the impact of that is city centres that today have looked a little bit like this, far quieter than you'd normally expect for a sunny day, with businesses that have simply decided to stay shut. Sky News reviewed data that indicates almost 1,000 people in England and Wales are likely to have died in this heat wave, 850 of them in the extreme temperatures of just the last two days. Wildfires also scorching other parts of Europe. The surge of wildfire activity this year has already burned four times more land across the continent than the average over the past 15 years. That's according to the European Forest Fire Information Systems. In northwestern Spain, fires inching closer to residential areas as the flames burn dry brush there. And in Greece, dry conditions and strong winds fueling a huge fire just north of Athens. And in the southwest of France, more than 2,000 firefighters tamping the flames for the eighth consecutive day, the fire forcing tens of thousands of people to evacuate their homes. What was once a tourist haven has turned into hell. Here's Sky's Siobhan Robbins in southwest France. I don't even know what to say because I've never seen... I used to see these kind of fires on TV. I never thought in my, in my wildest dream that it would happen to us. I've been so scared. Uh, it started in Wellington Green, um, caught fire and compost heap. The wind's not helped, fan flames. It's uh, gone right across the village. Taking Obviously, out the... that's not Siobhan Robbins. But as temperatures rose today, the head of the United Nations spoke to world leaders at a climate conference in Berlin. He warned of what's ahead in this climate emergency. This has to be the decade of decisive climate action. That means trust, multilateralism and collaboration. We have a choice, collective action or collective suicide. It is in our hands. He also warned that no nation is immune to floods, droughts, extreme storms and wildfires.